right now it's a pretty peaceful morning this morning. We've got these big snowflakes coming down. Uh, but the weatherman's saying that it's going to warm up, get above freezing, or right at freezing, and this is going to turn to ice and rain. So we're going to work inside today, and what we're going to do today is we're going to build some uh, fence gates for the uh, barnyard to lead out to pasture. And these are going to be almost eight feet long. They're going to be a wooden gate that the interior of the gate, the middle of the gate, will be filled with a like a cattle panel. It'll be a sheep and goat panel that'll go in the middle of the gate to keep animals from being able to get through. And so first thing I need to do is I just need to get the dimensions of between my posts here so I know how big of a gate to make. So we're going to measure top to top and then we'll measure bottom to bottom. So I've got the measurements now uh, between the, the posts. So the top was 91 and a half inches, the bottom was 93 inches. So my posts aren't really parallel to each other. Um, that one needs to lean more that direction. And since that post doesn't have any fencing on it yet and it's not uh, braced to the next post down, I can still tweak that post. So what I'll do is I will uh, take a tractor or something and we'll push on that post and try to make up that inch and a half at the top. Uh, the bottom, you ain't going to really be able to shift the bottom, but I can still shift the top. So we're going to go with our bottom measurement, 93 inches. Uh, and then we're going to minus three inches off of that for hardware. So I have room for the hinges and the latch on each side. So we're going to cut this gate uh, to a 90 inch wide gate. So to build uh, our wooden gate today, we're going to be using uh, treated deck boards. So these are just a six inch wide deck board. Uh, what you would use for the surface of your deck if you were building a deck out of treated lumber. And I've got some left over from when we built our house. So this is pretty much getting toward the end of my scrap deck boards. I've got three here that are still full length. These are 16 foot. And then I've got uh, two scrap boards here that are long enough for us to use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up cutting a total of eight pieces of wood today, but we're going to start off with four that are the vertical uh, links, uh, two that are horizontal links, and then two that are a diagonal brace. And that'll be our eight pieces of wood we'll cut. So the, the uh, vertical pieces will be pretty much the height of what our post was out there from the ground to the top of the post, and we're going to minus two inches off of that. So we're going to have, that's going to come out to 52 inches, so we'll cut a total of four of those, 52 inches long for the verticals. We'll cut a total of two for the horizontals, um, and that is going to be the width between the posts minus three inches, so ours is going to end up being 90 inches long. And then when we do the diagonals, we'll just kind of have to cut those to fit. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll get started, start assembling this gate. should be pretty quick to build this gate today.
just completed putting this gate together. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think it worked out pretty good. I did end up being short one board. I was short uh, one deck board for this back brace here, so I ended up had to use a two by six for that that back brace. So that two by six is about a half inch thicker. Um, so that just kind of makes this gate just a little bit heavier, but it'll work out just fine. Um, so the way we put this together was we put our horizontals and our verticals together in a rectangle. We measured corner to corner and tweaked it until they measured the same so we knew it was square. Then we screwed our corners together. Then we came back, we cut our brace to fit in there and we screwed this first cross brace in there. Uh, after that we, we flipped it back over and then we cut this sheep and goat panel. We cut it down so it was uh, fit in between the top and bottom rail of this gate and then we but we made it long enough um, that it would come into the pockets that are formed on this side so it ended up being about two inches shorter than the total length of the gate uh, and that worked out pretty good so it slid in both sides um, then we stapled it to this brace so then it's stapled all down this brace so it's attached and won't slide out we then again flip the gate back over then we had to cut our other cross brace we cut it to fit we screwed it in there and then we drilled a hole right in the middle through both of them and then we pinched that together with a clamp and then we bolted those together so they're locked together right here in the middle and that just kind of forces the when you do that that takes up that gap in the middle and it makes that that cattle panel end up laying against both of them uh, so it's just naturally that cattle panel wants to lay against both of them and then we came back and stapled the cattle panel or I guess it's a sheep and goat panel, but we stapled it to this other brace. So now it's stapled to both braces. It's it's really secure, and there's no way an animal's going to be able to squeeze through there. So, other than that, I took one of the scrap cutoff boards that we had. I had to put that down there on the end so that the uh, so this last bolt and the hinge had something to be able to screw to. So that top hinge, I don't have that mounted on there right now. I'm going to mount that top hinge. Uh, when I actually am installing the gate in the fence uh, so I'm just gonna wait on that top hinge and uh, other than that this I mean this thing's ready to go so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna load this up get it hauled out to the barnyard and see if we can get this uh, gate installed in our fence I got the gate installed here in our our barnyard fence so I'm pretty happy with the way this gate ended up turning out um, I'll be making another gate like this to actually fit in another opening over here and this gate here is going to lead from the barnyard and it's going to lead out here to the pasture and this should be plenty of a big enough opening for the livestock to be able to get through no matter what type of livestock we get it should be big enough for them to get from the barnyard out to the pasture and um, it also should be big enough uh, that I should be able to fit my tractor through. So my tractor is probably about seven feet wide. And so this will be a tight squeeze, but I should be able to get the tractor, uh, hopefully I will, through this gate and into the pasture if I need to. Now I don't have a, a latch on this gate yet, so I don't have to put a, a latch on here. It's because this post is rubbing right now. So this post needs to be pushed that way about an inch. And then I'm going to brace it to the post just down from it. And once those two posts are locked together, I'll go ahead and I'll mount a latch on the fence. And I should be, uh, you know, this gate should be complete. So we've got a few things left here to do to wrap the barnyard area up. 
Uh, we've got a little bit of fencing right here to do. I've got a little bit of fencing on up front on this side of the barn and on that side of the barn. And um, I've also purchased a 10-foot metal gate. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background or not, but I've got a green metal gate that I'll be putting in the front to be able to access the driveway into the barnyard. Um, so that'll be kind of the main gate to drive into the barnyard in. And I still got that left to do. So we'll end up, uh, we'll probably wrap that all into one video, yeah, just kind of finishing up the barnyard area. And then the rest of the videos uh, will end up being on the barn itself. We got a lot to do left, you know, left to do in there to get it ready for livestock. So we'll be, we'll be working on uh, all of that stuff. There'll be, there's more than I can even mention uh, that we need to do this barn. So it'll be a continuing project over the next year or more trying to get this barn finished up. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.